Hello and welcome back to the Bored and Alone podcast with your host Hans. And I am also with my friend Watts, aka Javi, which also brought along a guest, a special guest today. We have um, Louis Dominguez. You might know him from the TMZ scandal that happened a couple days ago, a couple nights ago, which we'll talk later. But you guys, introduce yourself. What am I, by myself? <laughs> your uh, podcast is a little deceiving, uh, Bored and Alone, and you are not alone today. Uh, this is what you know. I came on your podcast last time. We had a good time. Uh, Javi Watts. I really don't care what you call me. I have my good friend with me right here. Don't call him daddy though, cause yeah. <laughs> uh, you only call him daddy if you're gonna take him home. <laughs> Sheesh! Never call me that, especially online. Because <laughs> <Hey, laughs> you never took him home. <laughs> gentlemen, what is going on? Cheers, and here's to having a cold one with y'all. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers, 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 cheers to it. that. We're actually in a studio this time so you know that's the main reason i've been waiting on the podcast to come back it's just because we're actually recording in a studio here but first topic of discussion would have to be um traffic in la maybe <laughs> oh god don't get me started dude. like i i feel like we've gone through this topic a million times and it's never it's never gonna stop I mean, who doesn't? Because I think everybody in Los Angeles has gone through traffic a million times. Oh, definitely. Yeah, of course. You know, um, Louis, Louis, Louis right here is... This is why uh, we come out at night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This guy is a comic. Uh, really funny. If you ever get a chance, please go see him. But um, yeah, this guy, always on the road. Uh, never at home. Never at home. Yeah. Yeah. It's hey, so stop funny. stop it. You're making me blush, man. <laughs> Yeah, but nobody sees you blush because you only come out at night. And you're dark as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Sacagawea or Squanto. <laughs> I don't think we can say that anymore. I mean, that's I mean, not <laughs> PC, so let's just backtrack from that a little bit. Um, hey, fudge it. I'm going to get canceled soon anyway. <laughs> well, hey, so how are we all doing? I, I like a man who knows what, what's going to happen. He's like, fuck it. You know, whatever. I'm going to get canceled. He's like, I'm getting, at least I'm getting noticed. Yeah. It's like, you know when you, you're putting that two weeks notice? And they're like, and then like a customer is like, you know what? I should talk to your manager. And you're like, go ahead and talk to my manager, bitch. I'm about to quit anyways. Like people do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, of yeah, course. Cool. They put in two week notes. I've never done that. <laughs> I do like last minute notes. This guy, this guy, he really is a comic. He's fucking laughing. And this is my model. Hey, the day they fire you, they don't say thank you and they don't give you a warning. So why should we? Yeah, wow. you know what? Because that you have to chase the money. No, really? hold on. Let me take. Let me take out my hat. No cap. No, oh. no one? Anyone? Anyone laughing? No, no, no one is. You know no what? One. If anything, hey, again... My heart's so cold, I'm laughing inside. Again, like the end of the first podcast that I had with Watts or Javi, whatever you want to call him, uh, nobody's laughing and that's why I haven't had any views. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that was going to be your most viewed video. It really wasn't. And it did wonders for my self-esteem. That's why I'm drinking now. So, Louis, I... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I opened hey guys, it. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody else, but as long as you guys felt right about it, that's all that matters. You know what I mean? That's how he, <laughs> he that's justifies how he... having sex five times a week. He's like, um, it doesn't have to feel right. Yeah, no, but because he only has two days off, he doesn't have sex those two days because it's a weekend. He's like, ah, he has to go back with his girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. It's um, <laughs> but the other men, you know, they. It's period week, so this week I gotta jack off. <laughs> I'm trying to stay loyal, so you know how that goes. I agree 100 percent with no, that's that. A, that's a that's a good man, right? Because there. that way, at least he's just like, all right, I don't have to go into my impulse. I'm an, all I'm gonna do now is fucking drink. <laughs> or you know, hang how, up. you know how the saying goes: it's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I, I've never. <laughs> In, I, I've, I've never, never heard that. And I, I think you're talking about something else. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I'm not. No, I'll you know what? That. I think he's not talking about something else. I think he's actually talking Refer about okay, a okay. relationship because I think a prostitute is more expensive. I, you know what? That's actually, what I'm thinking he's saying. No, like. actually, no, no. I think, I think that he's actually referring to a fucking car because... You can keep your car in your garage right now with the gas prices, oh, and it's going to be cheaper. Dude, all right. <coughs> California. Oh, he's so disgusting. He's coughing right now of these California I fucking gas blood. prices. Yeah, he's coughing blood. Yeah. Do you, do you, I mean, I have a handkerchief. That's what it's costing me. You can cough. 
Hey, you and by the way, not to be nosy. COVID restrictions were lifted. Hey, so gentlemen, not to be nosy, but how much does it take to fill up your tanks? Um, oh, I'm, I'm actually blessed where I'm an employee, so I don't have to drive. So, zero. No, I'm just fine. Uh, no, hey. really, I have a sedan. Uh, you know, I don't give a fuck. I have a four focus. What? Make fun of me. I don't <laughs> here, care. Here, here you go, people. Right here. I am a content creator that brings on unemployed people. <laughs> 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 no, hey, I do. I have community. a Ford Focus. But you know what's crazy? I pay. For I, I haven't seen a change in my gas uh, spending. You know, uh, I'm how, also, how much yeah. I would. I would like to talk about that, and I want to talk that to the audience right now. Everybody who complains that oh the gas prices are so fucking high, it's mainly because everybody doesn't know what fucking gas prices were. Like, I've only spent maybe at most 10 or 15 bucks extra a week. I mean, yeah, it's going to fucking, like, you know, that's a difference. That's a hike in the price. But it's not a fucking ridiculous. I'm not paying $100 more a week. I'm not paying fucking everything else more a week. Yeah, bro, but you don't understand. Like, they, <laughs> these guys aren't having the hey, same dog, are you okay? Um, hey, this is what you I have was... COVID? We're in a room right now. <laughs> no, I caught your mouth. I haven't drank water all day, pure alcohol, since I've been with you, degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> we and have been I... drinking all day, but to be fair, none of us are coughing. Oh, well, hey, hey, I only have one lung. You know, le- hey, you know I'm what? older. I got one lung now. You know what? <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to him. The, the level of drinking that we do is not something that louis here is used to and um i apologize in advance for the amount of debauchery we're gonna do after this podcast you know what's funny is sometimes i don't even like to to brag about how much i drink because i feel like it's not even that much like okay definitely way more than a lot of people but i have i have seen some true alcoholics where like to the point where like when they brag, it's really depressing. <laughs> like, well, you know what? They're like, oh yeah, game. like I, I can't even afford to buy more the well, drinks I want to drink. I'm like, well, that's sad, dude. Like, well, 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 well is something that we fucking do when we run out of water. But <laughs> a well, well, oh, yeah, in the bar. Well, yeah, well, I just like got a well, a well. Yeah, I know. just got that. For, for for those of you don't know that don't know when you go to a bar you ask for a well drink it's basically bottom shelf cheapest shit you're gonna get they're like oh what kind of tequila you want and I just give him the well just give him the bottom I, I wasn't even, I shit. wasn't I wasn't even thinking that I was thinking the actual oh, well you, of a water you know you hey, get water you guys yeah. still go to bars. I just, uh, I just buy the bottle at the liquor store and I drink home by myself yeah, I was about to say he now. said you guys still go to bars I get invited to them. Oh, I'm not, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not This guy is cool. too famous for us. He's, he's too, he's too, he's too cool he's for too us. Sc- nah, cool you gotta for save school. that money, little Dicky, you know what I mean? We barely eat even... Oh, hey, Fetty Wap. There little you go. Dickie. These kids don't, don't even we, know no, Fetty Wap. We, no, we, we, we barely nah, even back. let Louie talk. You know what, Louie, have the floor for a bit and just talk to us about yeah, anything. Yeah, what's up, what's up, man? How's life? How you doing? Hey, well, for starters, I just want to say thank you, gentlemen, for having me here today. Not a lot of invitations lately. I mean, just to honestly, nowadays I do comedy. I just crash it, or honestly, I just stay on Instagram stalking where there's gonna be an open mic and I go and crash it. And so, and thank you for having me. It means a lot. I needed to get out of the house. My girlfriend was getting tired of me too. <laughs> you have to, you you have to be in the nit and gritty to like actually build up your fucking uh, thing. But you know what? Talk to us a little bit more about what happened with the Mike Tyson yeah, situation. Dude. That seems honestly <laughs> blew my mind. Hans hit me oh, up. Shit. He hit me up. He was like, "Hey, I'm gonna send you this video. You're not gonna believe who you're gonna see in the background." I'm like, "Who? Who do you see in the background?" He's like, "Just watch the video." I'm looking at this video. And I'm like, I'm just too focused, I guess, on Mike and uh, and then the guy, you know, who had to dispute. All right, let, let me pause you right here. Um, Jamie, pull up the video right now. 
Jamie, I'm, I'm bringing that bit back. Jamie, pull up the video. If you guys have seen our uh, previous video, you would know that Jamie is a figment of Han's imagination. There is no Jamie. He Next time edits, say Alexa or Siri. He edits everything by himself. Let me be. He has no one that works for him. <laughs> Let me be. Let me be. Anyways, hey, anyways. Different strokes, different any, folks. Any, Luke, Luke, any, any, guys, any, anyways, pause, pause, pause. Give us a second so I can edit that in. I mean, Jamie, edit that in. <laughs> this guy. All right, so yeah, please let us know what happened. Get up out of here. I'm not playing with you. Get up out of here, bro. Come on. Hey, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm joking. You're not joking. Are you joking right now? Get up out of here. Hey. Come on, fam, fam. Come on, my. Look, this is easy. I'm joking, bro. Mike, I'm out of here. Hey, I love you, fam. Salute to all your accomplishments. For real, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have no. He he went crazy, started interrupting the show, being louder than the comic on the mic. And when that starts happening, you know that's a problem. Yeah. Um, but I missed that part. I didn't notice what was going on. Um, I I caught on when the after he took out the gun, I didn't see the gun. But as soon as I kind of. And you can see that in the video, which again, I'll slow motion it for the slower listeners here. Right here. I mean, look. I'm it's a, gonna. It's yeah. It's gonna appear. I'm Go. disappointed. Yeah, it's gonna appear right there in the background, and you see Louis. Like TMZ, just, ding. Yeah. You see Louis just be there in the background, oh, <laughs> just I, like. I'm no, gonna, you I'm know what? Tell you guys why? You know, I'm sorry. Just before you keep going, what made me laugh the hardest was that Louis had no like immediate fear of the gun i guess because you didn't see it no i'm gonna tell you why you didn't right see now. it or you didn't know about it but this guy was in the middle of it all and i'm like as a as a personal friend i'm like dude why are you still there just get the fuck out of there like move and this guy is just in the middle of the shit but please yeah and then he escorts him out <laughs> he does you escort a gunman out hey, which is crazy to think about after. He did, he really. Hey, but let me indulge you. So the thing is, I got life insurance. It covers me. <laughs> it covers me up to thirty thousand. That's, that's why I'm disappointed. Hey, as soon as I heard he whipped out a gun, I was trying to get shot. I'm trying to die. Fuck. I mean, at least I, I look. I'm, I'm not a billionaire, millionaire, but at least I leave my family in a good. You know, you'll leave his family. In not a good millionaires. Position. You know what? Thousandaires. He, he, he's a considerate. Comedian is what he is. Really considerate. Hey, I don't believe in handouts, all right? Lottery mentality, what the hell is that? Hey, everything you got to work exactly. hard for it. Like, if you want those thousands of dollars, you got to die for it. Fuck yeah, exactly. Yeah. And honestly, committing suicide is not the option because then they don't cash you Yeah, out. they don't cash yeah. you out. Yeah. They won't. Yeah, yeah they if you don't believe me, ask Aaron Hernandez. They found, He tried to find a loophole and uh, somehow they didn't end up hey, paying. Yeah, we're, we're getting yeah, into, uh, yeah, yeah. We're tangenting off. Hey. So that's why I was kind of disappointed. I kind of wanted to get a bullet and also go. I was tired of working. It was my no, first time in three months to be fair we all been tired of work nah, to be to be to, to be fair i remember i talked to him the day after that it happened i talked to him in the morning he uh -huh. called me what did he say like motherfucker woke me up basically and i was like <laughs> um i was like hey dude what like what the fuck happened he's like you know what next time i'm taking a bullet from mike tyson i'm just gay make sure it does it's not in the liver because <laughs> you know again drake is i'm not gonna lie though hey the only one that didn't flinch is just stay still was Tyson. That's why when Bro, it, in the video you see he, he Tyson called, just he, like stone cold calm. Hey, cause the guy's been through it also. Like he know he can read people. He knows when there's danger, or like somebody's just like excited or they didn't know how to act and they regretted it. Or look who am I to judge? At the end of the day, every story has so many sides. We're seeing that all un unravel these last few days. But look, Tyson honestly, um he didn't pull the gun out at him. A, yeah, there was another just, mis um, misunderstanding. You were just communication. you were just talking about that that TMZ tried to promote. Like I don't want to get into that, details about that. But, yeah, TMZ then they tried, got great lawyers. Yeah, because TMZ tried to promote. <laughs> yeah, TMZ tried to promote the fact that they that they said that they pulled the gun on Tyson. But from what I know, you were there and like hey, nah, he put uh, it just, that just to put it out there um, for the TMZ lawyers. Yeah, sure can. Louis and Watts are not saying this. This is Hans and Hans only. I so will take the if rap. anyone is getting sued, it is Bro, being I'm Hans. the one that gets you out of jail all the time. I'm no, legal representation. Oh, hey, we're not supposed to say that on record. No. You can't say Allegedly. that because then 
<laughs> so I love that word. Uh, honestly, that word you can so, use it in anything. They're like, so, hey, I heard you were allegedly. So that, allegedly. That's yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. So here's here's what happens. Uh, that's where I came in already, but Tyson called the guy over. And Tyson's calling him over. I'm not gonna go against Tyson. All right, I'd rather get shot than socked out by Tyson any day of the week, yo. He so, can't suck uh, so it. I, I'm not so sure. I don't know about that. I would rather get punched out by Tyson. I think that's a better no, story. No, if you get punched nah. out by Tyson, you're dying. No, nah, then my teeth fall out. I'd rather have no teeth than get punched out by Tyson. I promise you for a fact that we are not in the physical capacity to take a punch from Tyson, even at his age Even right if now. I die, honestly, even if I die, days. just for the story. Just for the story, and, and I'll take it. If he hits you, that's a lethal, lethal that's weapon. A lethal, <laughs> right, yeah, lethal it, weapon compared, one and two. You know what? I yeah, wouldn't even so, assume. Because as he's, as he's, he's the champ. As soon as he told Meg, like, come over here, I'm like, oh, everything's de-escalated. What are you going to do? Cuss out the guy, keep pushing him, and get him more a- agitated, aggravated? Yeah, definitely. So as soon as he um, he, he kind of de-escalated the situation, made him calm, and the guy was just like, all right, I'm out, before everybody calls the cops. Uh, yeah, no, you no, can no. see in the video, too. Yeah, It's just, it's Mike, just you know, Mike, he, just like, Mike, it. Mike, Mike handles it as best as anybody yeah. should ever handle anything, because he's just, he is the one that is always centered of attention and he doesn't like flinch at the attention he knows what attention he gets and ever since the hangover came out like Watts or Javi was saying right now he's like yeah the the attention that he gets is always coming from like him punching someone or knocking them out and everybody thinks that they can just do that because it was a movie bit but they can't because again like you said Louis it was the fact that um Mike Tyson's hands are considered a deadly weapon and they can't they can't just go around saying like hey fight me champ fight me champ because you know at the end of the day like you know he does he he knows he can't do it and there's no one that like should be confronting him you know i just want to point out that i didn't say that that's the only reason that he's famous right now okay <laughs> no i didn't, I didn't say that he's famous. <laughs> that's not why he's famous it's no, a great I'm guy the- honestly one of the most interesting yeah uh, the story this man can tell and the shit he's been through, honestly, like, I, I think back to all the shit I went through. Yeah, I've had some fun nights, but compared to this man. Hey, what? Stop had... giving me credit, bro. You're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about my Tyson. We're, talking, oh, about the right, we're talking about the chat, oh, not you, okay? Damn. But, but, no, but we, I've had great nights with No, Louis. we've had amazing don't nights Don't get me wrong. Don't, that don't, sounds but sexual. Louis, I think the to next... be fair, if I had a night out with Mike Tyson... It would surpass any night I've ever had with you. Yeah, we would. We would. Yeah. We'd have an encounter with a tiger. Hey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And yeah. no comment. Honestly, it's Mike Tyson. No, but it's honestly, Jack. honestly, I hey, have to shout say out to that. him too. Honestly, great guy overall. Dude, honestly, really, really, Mike really handled nice. it almost perfectly. Like really genuine, nice, authentic person. Honestly. So you have a picture with him? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, wow. and, it's, and again, I'll pull it up again because I know I pulled it up earlier. I mean, Jamie did. <laughs> this guy. I swear, Watts hates the fact that I no, do it. I don't and hate I, it. I, just, I find it hilarious. All right. and, and I do it because it annoys the fuck out of him that I do it every time we hang out. I'm just like, Jamie, <laughs> Jamie. pull it up. But he, the, the funny part is that he does it when there's no nothing recording. Like, we could be talking face to face, no cameras, no recording device. And he's just like, hey, Jamie, can you bring me those wings? And I'm like, who? Who are you talking to? I'm pointing and at then he like, goes inside, gets the wings, and comes back out. I point at a wall and then yes. and then magically I end up with wings. Okay, that's like hey Arthur, like uh, DW and uh, like her Nadine friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah that's uh, uh, the little the little doll. It's, it's, like, it's like it's like Rubert. It's like Rubert. No, it's like Rubert and fucking uh Stewie. Because like you know he has yeah. a teddy bear. And he's like, always like, but there's like, something present right there. You know what's funny? I don't see anything here. I like how you yeah. you brought up Rupert, which would, you know, a lot of kids or a lot of people in this generation would understand. And he said Arthur's fucking reference, which I'm pretty sure not a lot of people, like only older people would understand that fucking reference. Like when he said it in my head, I was like, holy shit. No I mean, one honestly, we're, we're talking about age, but we're like around the same age group. And then you, you say that nobody understands Arthur, but then we still have the Arthur meme. We have the fucking yeah, yeah. People cosplayed for that for like Yes, the meme, COVID. but they don't, they don't understand specific fucking references like he just said. Mom, mom, what the deuce? Mom, 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 mom what the deuce? Mom, mommy, mommy, mama, mama. And she's uh, like, what? We need language. 
Oh my god, it sounds like I'm dying. Hi. Oh, y'all there, take me out of my misery. Hey, hey, um, <clears throat> Mike, no, just, Mike, just end it up. Everybody who's listening right now, um, just Louie, I swear to god, is funny, but voice over was just not having that. <laughs> I'm talking shit. I, I swear, I should never be talking shit Call to my guests. But... Hey, don't judge me. I got you next time. I sound amazing when I do it. <laughs> Again, Louis, um, you were telling us when, on the car ride over here to the studio Giggity. that you... That you... <laughs> <laughs> this guy. No, you're, you're, te- you're telling us about a a joke or something that you were working... That, that some lady gave you a card that she wanted you to go to the show. Like, what was the Yeah, joke? did she invite you to like another show? Okay. Yeah, you like what's the joke? I wanna, actually I wanna got a show tonight going on. If y'all want to come through, well, actually I got a soccer game first and then a show. Look at him doing mo- a man of multiple mil- mischiefs. Hey, right? I'll tell you what. <laughs> Whip cream. Whip. It's like why are you saying it like that? Oh, so Whip. why am I saying what what way? For uh, those of you Whip. hot rods aficionados, uh, one of our favorite movies. So, back to the joke part before we forget, because I got short-term memory. I'm like 10 seconds Tom from 51st Dates. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Tom. Exactly. <laughs> the next one, I'm going to say, hi, I'm Pedro. Hi, what's my name again? Oh, none. What's my name? What's oh, none. none. <laughs> what's my name? I got that right. I, look. You almost okay. missed it. I almost missed it, but I'm telling you, these jokes are going to like go over people's heads that are like under a certain age. Hey, and I, I'm not targeting hey, this history. podcast for that age. Look, I'm just saying some people aren't going to get it. I'm, I'm sorry. What do you want me to fucking like bust it down? Bust down. Bust, bust down, Tatiana. <laughs> bust down, Tatiana. Yeah, you yeah. ain't going to time me down. <laughs> okay, Chris Brown, okay. relax. That's that's a direct TLC reference. <laughs> Great. 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 You don't say that, Tatiana. Uh, no, uh, that's definitely gonna go over everybody's head. But what was the joke? We we keep interrupting you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, get it. I get it. We're all busy, man. When we're each other, we got ganas tenemos de hablar en cada quien. But I wanna I wanna have you more. I wanna have you as a reoccurring person. That sounds like know. commitment. Did he just press out some Spanish? Oh, that sounds like commitment. I'm being facetious, but you know I love you like a brother I never had. Hey, likewise you too, bro. But you have a brother. <laughs> Oh, well, I have him, <laughs> and I don't even talk to him that much, so, hey, I talk to y'all probably more than him. Probably, yeah. I call him on a daily basis to make sure he's okay. Everybody Ooh. always thinks Ooh. I'm going to overdose for something. No, reason. both of you. <laughs> <laughs> he calls me too much, man. All right, we're not talking about that. Let's go back to his joke. Jeez. I'm trying to, please. All right, so, <clears throat> my check, my check. <laughs> this I, like, I like hello, almost baby. done with the fucking podcast. Yeah. He's like mic check. This is how he does. All by right, the guys. way, when he goes on stage, this is how he does it. So I think he's always hilarious. Uh, all right, gentlemen. So, Ed, honestly, commitment is hard, right? Don't you feel like giving up sometimes? Walking away, throwing in the towel. Yeah. Not responding to text messages. Are you, where are you? Are you coming in to work today or not? <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey, that goes back to where I told you I, I never gave a two week notice. I was like, oh my God. I, I was like, where is this going? Like, yeah. Jesus, like, I mean, yeah, are like, we, are my, we going against my girlfriend? Are we going yeah, against yeah, my like, girl always sent me this shit. Like, I'm trying, and this was. Oh, like, she's amazing. We got an excellent relationship. <laughs> yeah, but he, he went to left, right. I thought he was going right, but he went left. And he's like, oh, but my job, man, I swear. <laughs> job <laughs> is like, hey, hey, my day job. I mean, I stay up all night. My but... job needs me more than my girlfriend sometimes, unfortunately. <laughs> And this is a job a Mexican doesn't want to do. <laughs> That's rare. That's rare. And I, yeah, hey, you know. It's I'm just, a next generation. I'm a rare breed. Next generation Mexican. Yeah. Yeah, next generation is like, yeah, you know what? Mm, maybe I don't want to mow the lawn today. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll hire somebody from Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. no. We got to like, you know, when you're going to pay me, I'm taking 50%. Yeah, and um, I'm doing the middleman part. Hey, exactly. Hey, like all the tablets, Postman, DoorDash, all of them. Damn, that's a genius next generation Mexican. Like they wait at Home Depot, they get picked up, right? And they're like, okay, I will pay you 200 for the day. He goes, picks up somebody else for $75. He makes 125 
it's I think I think good. I think the genius in it, in it all would be that you talk to like like a bunch of the Home Depot Mexicans. You're like, hey, you know what? I have a job for you tomorrow, and I'm gonna come back and I'll pick you guys up, right? And then you just so happen to be like, okay, I'll pick you guys up. Just meet me in a different spot from Mexico, like in a different spot from Home Depot. From Mexico? No, yeah. no, from Home Depot. <laughs> I, I know right. I fucked up. All right, like in a different spot from Home Depot. Like meet me at the McDonald's, and I'll pick you guys up next to the fucking Home Depot. And, 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 and then you, and then up. and then you have a nice. job lined up, and you're just like, all right, I'm paying you this, and this is how many people I need. Hey, here's the funny thing though. You're sorry basically an employer at that point. No, but sorry to interrupt, but th those gentlemen, they, they set down the prices and they're he they're hella expensive. They'd be saying, hey, I want 500 for the day. Cause I, I'm, on my, I'm on my ass from not a chalan. Who said that? The people at the- Yeah, I'm they'd sorry. be setting their own prices. I, um, I have like, an uncle could do it for 45. Hey. I was about to say like that. You no, sound yeah, like everybody put, else trying to hire somebody. Yeah, they, no, they're put, they're pushing, they're they're pushing too much. I yeah, mean, I, do, I can get my cousin to do it for like fucking McDonald's and like a fucking couple of beers or a hand job. Well, mm, no, I mean, I mean, I'm not, I mean, gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge. That's not my offer, but a la prima se la vida. Like you, you no, if you, if you, if you mm. offer him a hand job, he'll probably be like, mm, okay, a hand job and a half. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but everybody, like I said, um, glad that you guys are tuning into this again. It's uh, definitely fun. Again, the studio was just—I don't know if it sounds any different, but um, I'm glad to be back. Glad to come back with an interesting story that I have a personal connection to because. Again, Louis Dominguez, right here. Um, plug your things. Plug your um, your at Louis Dominguez. At like, plug your Instagram. Plug your TikTok. Plug your fucking everything hey, you want to plug. Louis Dominguez plug. comedy TikTok and Louis Dominguez Instagram. Follow me and I follow back right now before I make it to the top. <laughs> before he gets famous. Before he yeah, gets yeah, yeah. I Just don't don't trip if it takes a day or two. Honestly, um, he, he said if you do send a uh, penis pic, he will reply faster. That's what he said. He said that all, only only penises. Only no, penises. no, no, no. Only I'm penises. too straight. I make a ruler look crooked. You know Come what? On, no. <laughs> you know what? Never, never mind. He said penises and everything else. Yeah. Like, you know, he'll, he'll take everything. He's uh every, every spectrum right now. Fuck okay, it, I'll take any payment nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> And that was the Bored and Alone podcast, where obviously I wasn't so alone. I had to do the outro separately because we went a little bit over our running time that we had for the studio. So if it does sound like a little difference in quality, it's only because of that. But we're definitely going to try to do that a little bit more often now. So, sorry for the long wait. Sorry for the delay. Just a like, transitional period. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for tuning in while you were doing some chores or whatever. But as always, I have been your host, Hans, signing off. And here is the meme of the week. God damn it, you better open this fucking door or I'm going to bust this shit down. All right, fuck it. Fucking orange.